Well, once again, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you very much for joining us for a special spotlight this evening. Oh, thank you. Well, you know, I, I asked, uh, you know, as, as we continue our tradition with the spotlight, and we've, we've got a, a whole new complement of entertainers here on board, to get us started uh, with the spotlights this uh, this uh, section of your Grand World Voyage, I've asked uh, this incredible artist who plays around the ship. If you haven't, uh, if you haven't uh, seen him, well, this is, uh, this is your first introduction to him, but he does an amazing job, and his uh, program's listed on the Today and Location, and so for those of you that have been missing out, we're going to have an opportunity for you to get to know this young man and uh, for you to uh, frequent his uh, venues and his concerts uh, throughout the rest of your voyage. Voyage. And so, ladies and gentlemen, uh, don't we, uh, why don't we enjoy the smooth sounds of Gaither, your solo guitarist. Thank you, folks. Check, check this thing on, this thing on. Hello, folks. Hey, it's good to see you. My name is Gaither. Thank you, Gene, for that introduction. Um, you know, I've been doing this uh, now about six years, and it's, uh, it's been fantastic. I was managing a REMAX real estate office. And the economy went along and went like this. So naturally, the, the progression is to come up here and, and uh, work as a solo guitarist. Uh, and it's been uh, it's a natural progression. And it's, it's fantastic. I grew up in San Diego, California. A little quick little thing. I grew up in San Diego, California. Yeah, any San Diego? Okay, great, great. Uh, it was a tough life growing up. I, had, uh, I grew up with divers. So I had uh, lobster, abalone, yellowtail at my beck and call. And uh, yeah, no, it was a little tough. And, um, and then four houses down was Mission Bay, where SeaWorld is. So uh, the temperature in San Diego is 76 year round. But here's the arduous portion of it. It was, it was an arduous six to five to six minute ride on my bicycle to the beach. So it was tough, and I appreciate you commiserating. Thank you so very much. That's, that's very kind of you, so we have that. So I want to talk just a real quick before I get started. I've got some things up here. You may have seen me walking around. You know, many of us artists have a little pack on here, so I can do remote. You've seen me maybe around the pool doing some things. Well, I have a few things down here that help me. I learned a long time ago to fire my band, and, um, and I now carry them right here. So one of the things I have is a looper. It's a little pedal that's down here, and I actually do all my recording live. So when you're, when you're listening to me, I will lay down a track, and then play it back. So this first number I want to do is just a little something I put together, and uh, I might need a little help. It goes something like this. It goes. Can I get a little clap here? Good. <laughs>
looper. A little something with a looper. Now, when they, when they told me yesterday, when I got back on ship that I'd be doing a spotlight show, I was kind of worried because, of course, you know, I hadn't put together a show per se. I do one every day, but that's that. But so, there we go. By the way, if anybody's seen my mug, I just lost it today. There's a big silver mug. You may have seen me walking around. It's somewhere around the ship. So that's it. Anyhow, so, um, so I was wondering, okay, what should I play? This fine, fantastic crowd. You've heard it all before. And um, so I just thought I'd throw something out to you that might, uh, you might recognize. It may be a little, little bit, uh, yeah, I'm looking around. Could be, yeah, a little over for you folks. You may have seen it on YouTube or maybe the History Channel. Uh, this would be, well, it's one full of money, a two full show. A three to get ready now, go, can't go, and don't you step on the blue suede shoes. Down, step on my face, slamming my name all over the place. Do anything that you wanna do. Oh, oh, honey, lay off of them shoes, and don't you? Step on my blue suede shoes. How oh, you can do anything, lay off of them blue suede shoes. Well, you can burn my house, steal my car, drink my lick from an old fruit jar. Do anything that you wanna do. Oh, oh, honey, lay off of them shoes, and don't you? Step on them blue suede shoes. How oh, you can do anything, lay off of them blue suede shoes. Here we go. I figured Elvis would come across well. Uh, Elvis was a star. And anyway, I got to go to uh, Sun Studios. Everybody been to Sun Studios in Memphis, Tennessee? I actually sang where he recorded his very first song, sang through the microphone. It was a very nice experience. So it was very good. That's not the one I wanted right here. So, oh, there we go. So, so Jackie and Cindy, you doing okay? Okay. So, so, Jack, now would be the appropriate time. Remember how earlier today you came up and asked me to, to dedicate that song to the lovely and talented Sandy? Remember how you did that? that that's a wonderful man right there. So, uh, yeah, you know, Jack and Sandy people right here. Let's give them a hand. So uh, he came up and said he wanted to dedicate this song. So we're just going to see if we can work this one out. It goes something like this.
searching for a long time For someone exactly like you I've been traveling all around the world mm, Waiting for Sandy to come through Someone like you, oh, to keep it all with wine Someone like you, to keep me satisfied Someone exactly like Sandy Someone exactly like Sandy I've been traveling a hard road I've been looking for someone exactly like you And I've been carrying my heavy load Waiting for the light to come shining through Someone like you, oh, to make it all worth a while Someone like you, to keep me satisfied Someone exactly like you Like Sandy Someone exactly like you I've been all around this world Marching to the beat of a different drum Until lately I realized Oh, Sandy, blessed is yet to come Someone like you, oh, to make it all worth a while Someone like you, to keep me satisfied you know who I'm talking about. One moment, one moment. Jack, when I hold my hand up, she can't hear me like this. I think it's going to be a good night. All right, so we're back. We're back, ladies and gentlemen. That's fantastic. All right, well, well my experience on ships is that uh, there's a particular gentleman that, um, that was very, is very popular on ships. And uh, unfortunately, he, he decided to get into his plane and not, uh, not fuel it. Um, but he put he left a, a fantastic legacy. So on that gentleman's name is John Denver. And so we're gonna do a little John Denver song. This is called Grandma's Feather Bed. It's a true story. When I was a little bit boy, just above off the floor. We used to go down to Grandma's house every month and or so. We'd have chicken pie, country ham, homemade butter on the bread. But the best known thing about Grandma's house was a great big feather the bed. It was nine feet high and six feet wide, soft as a downy chick. It was made for the feathers of four and geese to go whole board clock on the tin. And it'd hold a kid to four hound dogs and the figure we stole from the shed. We didn't get much to but we had a lot of fun on Grandma's feather the bed. After supper, we'd sit around the fire, old folks spit and chew. 
Pa would talk about the farm and the war, Granny sing about the door too. I'd sit and listen and watch the fire till the cobwebs filled my head. Next thing I know, I'd wake up in the morning in the middle of the old feather bed. It was nine feet high and six feet wide, soft as a downy chick. It was made for the feathers and four left keys, took a whole pole high from the tip. And a whole day came before hound dogs and the piggy we stole from the shed. We didn't get much to do, but we had a lot of fun on Grandma's feather bed. Pa love Granny, Grandpa too. Been fishing with my uncle, wrestling with my cousin, even kissed Aunt Lou. Ooh, but if I ever had to make a choice, guess it ought to be said. I'd trade them all just the gal down the road and Grandma's fair the bed. I'd trade them all just the gal down the road. I best think about that gal down the road. Where it was nine feet high, six feet wide, soft as a downy chip. It was made from the feathers of four lemgies, took a whole boat of hot tip. Had a whole day kid and four hound dogs, the bigger we stole from the shed. We didn't get much to do, we had a lot of fun on Grandma's feather bed. Ah. Some of you folks might be wondering, some of you folks might be wondering, how, where were all those voices coming from? Well, obviously, I have another pedal down here. It's been just wonderful. The technology that's actually within this little section is, is to me, still absolutely amazing. So I have another uh, box down here. That's called a uh, Vocalist Live 3. And it is a harmonizer, as you no doubt have found out. It actually is an intelligent harmonizer. It looks, uh, I mean, excuse me, it li listens not only to my guitar, but also to the vocals and adds things to it. So it's... Uh, it's a pretty amazing little tool, and I use it every once in a while. So if you're looking around going, where are the other singers? They're still right up here. And, uh, and so on. So this next song is, uh, is one that's an original song. And um, just as a little quick story there is that uh, there was a young lady. You may find this surprising, but I, I was seeing a young lady on a ship at that time I worked on. And uh, I know keep it down anyway. So uh, I found out that she had not been to Venice yet. And this was after a big fight we had had. It was our first, you know how you have that first impression that goes terribly wrong? Well, this was it. This was it. You wouldn't know about that. But anyway, um, so we went out to Venice and I, boy, I did it right. I brought bottles of, uh, a bottle of wine, cheese, crackers, so and so forth. Took her out to dinner and then took her by Rialto Bridge. Any been to it? Yes. Absolutely, you have to have somebody at least kiss on the cheek, right? So, uh, so I did it right. Anyway, we went there the next day. Had a fantastic day. And, in, you know, guys and gals, you know how in our guy brains we want to say that perfect thing and it comes out with just the foot in the mouth? <laughs> I've done that. <laughs> so what I wanted to say is, you know, it's so easy. It's so easy to be with you. It's so easy to, to talk with you and so on. What it came out with, well, not that you haven't been easy up until now. <laughs> what? <laughs> we joked about how some women will, of course, remember things from 20 years ago. Honey, I'm sorry I didn't do the dishes. Yes, but remember that time you didn't do the dishes? Anyhow, so I had to scramble, and I wrote this song, and I may have gotten it out. So it goes like this. I use my looper in the process. Myself with that last line, I'm telling you. Right. We 
don't see the world in quite the same way. I like the night, she likes the day. You know how it is. I like it warm, she likes it cold. It's easy to see, she's the one I want to hold. A whole number of things I wanted to get in here, but I see I'm running a little short on time. A couple other little things right up here. I actually, this phone, I have a phone here that has multiple application systems in it. So I have, you picture a whole warehouse of guitar effects. It's right here on my phone. It's amazing. I just switch it out, so on and so forth. And then you may be wondering about the iPad. I just watch movies while I'm up here. So, uh, so uh, let's see. I'm going to end you, I think, uh, let's see if I got time. So when I was about uh, five years old, I went to a movie and, and uh, saw a big green dragon, Buddy Hackett riding. It was, uh, it was a movie, uh, Brothers Grimm. And uh, Peter, Paul, and Mary were all around uh, my house. So uh, I, I learned to play at that time. Uh, East also at that time, Friends of the Family was a DJ for KSON Radio, Country Western Station. We went, I think when I was six, quite frankly, when I was six, we went to the airport and we picked up Johnny Cash and June Carter. And I carried June's bags to the green room in, uh, in the Civic Theater. And I even at that point had a little, a little pick in my short little pockets at the time. And I uh, walked Johnny's stage left. And uh, before he went on, I handed him a pick. He hasn't called me since. I'm a little disappointed. This is a song from him. I hear the train coming. It's rolling round the bend. I ain't seen the sunshine since. I don't know when. Oh, I'm stuck in Folsom Prison. Time keeps dragging on. But that train keeps rolling. On down that sand and tone. When I was just a baby, my mama told me, son, always be a good boy, don't ever play with guns. But I shot a man in Reno just to watch him die. When I hear that lonesome whistle, I hang my head and cry. Dying for cars, probably drinking whiskey, smoking big cigars. But I know I have it coming. No, I can't be free. But those people keep on moving, and that's what tortured me. 
Now when they free me from this prison When that railroad train is mine Bet I'd move it out a little farther down the line Fall from Folsom Prison It's where I want to stay And I let that lonesome whistle Blow my blues away Now when they free me from this prison When that railroad train is mine Bet I'd move it out a little farther down the line Fall from Folsom Prison where I want to stay And I let that lonesome whistle Blow my blues away And I let that lonesome whistle Blow my blues I said I let that ever-loving whistle Blow Blow my blues I got some uh, time for one more song, I think. You know, I've been fortunate to be down here in Australia a couple times. I uh, was down here for about two weeks. Had a fantastic time. Uh, stayed in Adelaide for two weeks, actually. But I've been to Sydney a few times. Also went to Kangaroo Island. Anybody been to Kangaroo Island? Well, it's, it's fantastic. It's absolutely gorgeous. So we, we, we went past it. And uh, it should actually be called Wallaby Island because there are more wallabies on it than, than kangaroos. But it's just 880, uh, 800 square miles of, of just beautiful, beautiful scenery. So in honor of that, I did learn a, uh, a song called I Am an Australian. And it goes like this. And I'm going to watch the movie right here while I did it since I didn't have a chance. So here we go. Australians in the room? Australians? There we go. So you're my barometer. I come from the dream town, from the dusty red soil plains. I'm an ancient heart, the keeper of the flame. I stood upon the rocky shore, I watched the tall ships come for 40,000 years. The first Australian came upon the prison ships. Bound down by iron chains, cleared the land, did the lash, and waited for the rains. I'm a settler, I'm a farmer, on a dry and barren run. A convict, a free man, I became Australian. We are one, but we are many, and from all the lands on earth that we come. We share a dream and sing with a warm voice. I am, you are, we are Australian. Well, I'm the daughter of a digger, one who saw the mother load, a girl became a woman. On a long and dusty road I'm a child of the depression I saw the good times come I'm a bushy, I'm a battle I am Australian We are one We are many And from all the lands on earth that we come We share a dream And sing with one voice you are, we are, we are Australia. Oi, oi. I'm a teller of stories, I'm a singer of songs, I'm a and I'm a jeer. I paint the ghostly gums, I am Clancy on the horse, I met Kelly on the run. The one who was Matilda, I am Australian. On to the next verse, here we go. I'm a hot wind from the desert, 
I'm the black soils of the plains I'm the mountains and the valleys I'm the drought and the flooding rains I am the rock, I am the sky The rivers when they run The spirit of this great land I am Australian Help me out again We are one But we are many And from all the lands on earth we come Share a dream and sing with a one voice. I am, you are, we are Australian. One more time, we are one, we are many. And from all the lands on earth, we come we sing with a dream, we sing with a one voice. I am, you are. We are Australian. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so very much. It's a fantastic act coming in. I'll see you again. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear for tonight's spotlight your solo guitarist, Gaither. Well, as you can see, uh, you know, Gaither's got a, a wonderful talent. He's got uh, a really unique presentation uh, here on board. And so as you take a look at your Today on Location, uh, Gaither will be performing around in the uh, piano bar, out on deck, and, of course, in the crow's nest. Uh, so uh, drop on by and, uh, and give him a hoot, give him a holler, and give him a request, and he'll, uh, he'll play those for you. We really appreciate him doing the spotlight tonight. We do have Annie Gong coming up at uh, 8.15 in about 15 minutes. Those of you who are off to dinner, bon appetit. We'll see you at the 10 o'clock. And those of you uh, that are here, uh, get your favorite drink, and we'll be back in about 15 minutes.